What do you think of when you hear the word tuberculosis? Epidemics from bygone eras? One of those nasty, chesty coughs? An issue long since dealt with by the wonders of modern medicine? Well, no, actually. Tuberculosis is a disease that claims the lives of over one and a half million people a year. Now, the thing with TB is that for the most part, the disease doesn't affect populations that are the most equipped to deal with it. As things stand, lower middle income countries account for around 80% of all TB cases, and it's a public health crisis that's deeply rooted in inequality. Central to this is multi-drug resistant tuberculosis, or MDR-TB, a strain of the disease which doesn't respond to an initial course of antibiotic treatments. There are many challenges for people affected by MDR-TB. If people don't have access to well-functioning health services, this has a knock-on effect at every stage of their care, be it timely diagnosis or holistic support. And then there's the treatment itself. For a person with MDR-TB, existing treatment plans are extensive. They can run up to two years and take a real toll. Think constant fatigue, think blurred vision, think nausea and vomiting, think psychosis. Many people don't complete their treatment as the process is so arduous. It takes a huge toll on both physical and mental health. It leads to isolation. Not everyone's able to continue to work and earn. It's a long and often debilitating journey. And after all that treatment, only around half would result in successful outcomes. We at MSF knew that the status quo and existing treatment plans needed changing. What is quite clear with MDR-TB is that uh, sometimes the, the treatment itself is, is worse than the, um, the disease. We were faced um, with the challenges that our patients were having. We recognized how difficult it was for them um, to go through the treatment. The outcomes were, were not acceptable. So, what did we do about it? We set out to establish a treatment plan which was shorter, safer, more effective, and with fewer gruelling side effects. Simple, right? Wrong. TB is a very, very complicated disease, and we must use a cocktail of drugs. So just having one new drug on the market, you know, the questions remain, how are you going to use it? You know, in combination with what? Well, that's what we aimed to find out. As until fairly recently, there have been no new treatments for over 50 years. So we got to work. We decided that the current solutions aren't good enough. Launched in 2017, TB Practical, our clinical trial, ran in trial sites across Uzbekistan, South Africa and Belarus. We collaborated with local experts and ministries of health. We tried and tested various combinations of drugs and stood them against the locally accepted standard of care. The six-month regimen that won out was BPAM, and it resulted in a huge reduction in symptoms and side effects. Not only is the treatment shorter, but on balance, much more bearable, going from up to 20 pills per day to around seven. We saw less instances of people discontinuing treatment. We saw less instances of recurrence. We saw a marked improvement in terms of quality of life. The bottom line, though, is that with this new approach, MDR-TB treatment, successful outcomes went from 60% to 89%. These are reasons to be hopeful. We've checked, checked, and checked again. Our findings have been peer-reviewed and published. The World Health Organization gave their backing, and within just a few months, five MSF-supported countries had adopted our shorter regimens, and there are more lined up to follow suit. But the job isn't done. We're continuing to push for these treatments to be affordable for people who need them most. Our trial has shown that shorter, safer and more effective treatment is possible. It's shown that when we work together with affected communities, trust local expertise and put people at the centre of our thinking, change can happen. For people with MDR-TB, it's given hope. TB Practical has shown that by putting people at the centre of our thinking, it's possible to make a real difference. The next step is getting this treatment to the people who need it most. <laughs>